said that, said that she met with a congresswoman. And I guess I've kind of given it away now. I was saying the state. I can't keep track of all this anymore. Right, and, and they had lunch. Yeah, they had lunch. And, uh, yeah, 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 and yeah. She yeah. said prepare. Yep. Oh, man, I'm just so sick of these people. And again, all I want is to have a free country, due process, checks and balances, right to be a father, right to have my basic rights, right to private property, right to Second Amendment. And I've got... You've got, that all the veterans have got. I mean, let's talk about who they're targeting. Returning veterans are the number one enemy, public. And they're not running that in movies and sitcoms and dramas along with actual news for nothing. They're, they're planning to come after you. And then they mention libertarians, constitutionalists, Christians. And they don't mean establishment, megachurch, glitterbug, Pharisee, cult Christians. They mean real Christians who aren't going to put chips in their kids. And, and by the way, that's all being announced like it's no big deal now. That's another thing. I tell people about plans to chip the public 18, 19 years ago, and people thought I was nuts. Now it's like, yeah, when will kids start getting chips to help them learn? I mean, it's just, well, we're going to help the troops that are depressed with brain chips, AP. There's just massive drug shootings, killings all over the border, 70 plus thousand dead in Mexico, thousands dead on the U.S. border. But when, oh, but, but you know, when a couple of Border Patrol gets shot, it's just the back of the paper. But then when some clowns reportedly go kill some people, oh my gosh, it's Alex Jones's fault. He, he, he caused it because he says the liberty movement, don't go out and shoot cops offensively. Try to wake them up. Don't, don't be part of this. The media is pushing this narrative that the liberty movement's going to kill cops to hope that that gets in your mind as a way to resist. You heard Bongino, former high-level Secret Service agent, say, yeah, I'm getting a lot of harassment, but I think it encourages it to admit it's going on and validates it. What was the term he used? He, didn't say, he said encourage, but he said uh, the equivalent of that. He said it uh, validates it and encourages it. And that's 101. I mean, you don't have sitcoms, dramas, cartoons. The Liberty Movement's going to kill cops and drape them in, in, in flags, and then it magically happens. And like I said, it was staged either by the media promoting it to create a copycat off of a non-existent event, or it was staged. And they cut that up to have me saying, it is totally staged by Harry Reid. They'll probably play that clip. <clears throat> because they're running an enemy operation. I mean, look, when they were given the authorization to come out and say that I was behind the Boston bombing and that, and that I, quote, am deeply racist, close quote, in the same sentence, that was off a teleprompter, folks. That was authorized by the highest levels of the White House. They would never do that a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. That means they're going all out. They will do anything to start this civil war, to shame the Tea Party, a new Oklahoma City to say, oh my gosh, he was a listener of Alex Jones. Remember, remember McVeigh did it for Rush Limbaugh. Remember that? That was uh, USA Today and New York Times, April 21st, 1995. I remember seeing it on the news. You folks can look it up. Rush Limbaugh, the day after, and it was in the paper the day after that, the day after Oklahoma City, Bill Clinton came out, there's audio of it, and said Rush Limbaugh and other talk radio with no proof. See how that works? And they did it. That's hands down. No, no, no. We know who put the bombs in the building. So you better believe that I suspect this Justice Department now, run by the very same person who was really running it back then, Janet Reno, was such a drug addict when she was a prosecutor. You can look up the Florida papers, and I'm not going to even repeat all of it here. If you want to look into Janet Reno, it's incredible. Totally insane. Child molester. Oh, by the way, yeah, the deputy attorney general was running things, and that was that was the guy that's the attorney general today, Eric Holder. 
we are our Las Vegas affiliate, other affiliates are saying, yeah, we're getting clearly organized calls to take you off the air, but we've never had more listeners, more support. We love you. Of course, we're not going to take you off. But our, but our affiliates are calling going, we're getting organized calls to take you off the air. Well, of course they are. That's what they do. They can't intimidate me, so they're going to try to intimidate you. But this show is getting more affiliates. We just got another affiliate, 50,000 watt in Boston. It was in the Boston newspaper last week. We're getting big affiliates all over the country every few days now. They're freaking out. And, and, and what are you going to do, put a bullet in me and make me a martyr, you scum? Don't you get it? I'm committed. I'm not afraid of you. I'm going all the way to understand that. And so is everybody else. The folks that are going to get caught flat-footed by all this craziness, <laughs> they have no idea what's about to hit this country. People are like, about to hit? We're already getting hit. <laughs> no, folks. This is only the vanguard. This is only the enemy scout operation. When they drop the hammer, whew, they're crazy enough to do it, too. I know this, though. The Secret Service, almost to a person, absolutely hates Obama because they've seen all the stuff he's up to. And I haven't been told because I don't want to be killed. And these guys are smart enough not to talk about it. Bongino won't talk about it. I've talked to other Secret Service, current ones, you name it. And they, they just say there's, there's never, they've never heard of anything like it, what's going on. Because there's like a crazy psychopathic criminal thing going on where they, when psychos and criminals aren't getting caught or in trouble, they act out to try to get caught. That's basic criminology, and that's what they're doing. Remember the FBI agent who they're now auditing and stuff? I forget his name. We've had him on the show years ago. I want to get him back on. The Western Journalism Center is supporting him. Farah talked about him. He's got the Patrick Henry Center, I think is what it's called. He got the photos out of the crack pipes and Mao Zedong stuff they put on the White House Christmas tree. What type of mental patient gets off on defacing a Christmas tree like, ooh, it's nasty, it's dirty. I put crack pipes on the Christmas tree and communist leaders like Karl Marx and Mao Zedong. These are mentally ill people, the type of folks that, you know, play with their crap. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry to have to talk like that, but these are sick freaks, folks. And the Secret Service and the FBI has to sit around. I mean, I mean, if Hillary Clinton was putting crack pipes on the Christmas tree in 1995, what do you think they're doing now? I mean, a Christmas tree is pretty regardless. What makes you want to go deface it? Why? Why? They're sick freaks. Oh, they want to rule us. They want, why does a psychopath want to grab a woman and tie her up and torture her for a month? Because they like to dominate people. They're bad. They're bad. I don't know how else I'm supposed to explain this to you. They're evil. Like the communists and the Nazis. Before I end this hour, we need your financial support. We sell great products. InfoWorksLife.com's got the X2 Nation iodine. It's just blown my mind and my body what's done. You can read all the health information, InfoWarsLife.com, see videos and more. It's truly, this type of iodine is a new discovery with, with the deep earth crystals. See the videos at InfoWarsLife.com. And don't forget, there's a Texas-based company owned by service-disabled U.S. Air Force veteran that we've gotten great reviews. They've been a sponsor for two years. Made in the USA, used by defense contractors in Afghanistan, police all over the USA, and by civilians who want to be prepared when the you-know-what hits the fan. Armor is still legal. Get it now. It's very well-priced. For what you get, infidelbodyarmor.com, infidelbodyarmor.com, or 888-608-6605, infidelbodyarmor.com, infidelbodyarmor.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm firing myself up for a news blitz. I'm going to give the number out and take a few of your phone calls. The never before heard, J.A.R. Tolkien. On the New World Order. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network.
the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself. Our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network.